Okay, please welcome Miroslav Suchy, the copper guy. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Better? Yeah, probably. Hi, my name is Mirek Suchi, uh, and I'm working on copper. I will be talking about copper right now. Uh, I will tell you uh, what exactly is copper, and later what is not copper. Uh, brief history and the decision which have been made. Uh, then I will show you how it works and the features it has, features it doesn't have. And if time will allow, uh, I will mention, uh, I will show you how to build software collection there. So what is copper? Uh, the name stands for Cool Adder Package Repository in France, Copper, and it's basically place for hacking. You can do whatever you dare, uh, some limitation, uh, but the, the copper for input for copper is source RPM, and the output is YAM repository. It do that for you, and whatever you will do there uh, is up to you. If copper will become a uh, foundation for uh, Fedora next third ring, or uh, if, it will, if it will be foundation for Fedora Ugly or Fedora incubate, incubate, Incubator, or whatever you want, it's up to you. You can build the packages there. Uh, it's up to you if you, uh, if it will be your upstream, if you are upstream developer and you want to build uh, nightly uh, builds there for continuous integration, or if you want to build project which is not yet in Fedora or will never will be in Fedora, but you want to build it and give give to others, you can do that. Uh, for example, that that was my motivation for joining because. Uh, I previously worked for satellite, and it took me two years getting satellite packages into Fedora, and it was not done yet, and probably never be, will be, because after two years, we, we was in one third of the way. So OpenShift is probably very similar software collection. Uh, there is a quite long discussion about if it should be in uh, Fedora or not and how. But in the meantime, you can build your software collection in copper and offer it to the world. Uh, the brief history. The history start in 2010 uh, I think it was originally idea of Seth, but he basically started work on that. Uh, the work accelerated, or probably start, how do you look on that, uh, on November 2012, uh, when uh, Slavek Kaberda joined uh, Seth. And Slavic work on front end and said work on back end. I joined as dedicated developer because both Seth and Slavic work on their free time on Copper, so it went a little bit slowly. Uh, I come as dedicated developer in July 2013, uh, and approximately in that time, uh, unfortunately, Seth died in that unfortunate accident. Uh, and Slavic didn't have uh, time for copper, so uh, I was uh, alone working on a copper. So I, 
my first thought was uh, to question uh, whether we are going in correct way. Uh, because previously I've been using OBS for some projects, small projects. So I thought, why are we not using OBS when it has all the features we basically want? Or why don't we change uh, Koji to uh, do the stuff we want? And I spent three months uh, considering those options. Uh, and after those three months, I decided at what it was not easy uh, decision uh, to come with the copper. The copper was in that time just a uh, prototype, uh, uh, some developer instance we had, but it was probably the best. I will uh, summarize the, the decision for you. Uh, we want Koji. We wanted something secure than Koji uh, because Koji on the back end builds uh, in a pure, uh, pure mode, pure fruits. Uh, and the packages in Fedora, which are built in Koji, is somehow trusted. It's by, built by somebody who went through a package review process and probably knows what to do. And is somehow watched by other people as well. Uh, in Copper, uh, we offer the infrastructure to whole world. So we wanted to build packages in virtual machines, which we immediately uh, terminate after each build. And we wanted something easier than Koji, uh, because Koji is quite complicated, and uh, our intention was to do something very easily. Create new project, click. Submit new project, build, click. Wait a few moments, you have YAML rep repository. In Koji, uh, you have to file a relevant ticket for everything and making it uh, sad, but user is uh, not easy. It's doable, but it would require a lot of time, which we didn't have at the time. We wanted something uh, during uh, autumn 2013, but uh, the work done in copper will be probably uh, sometime, especially on the back end, will be uh, incorporated and merged, I don't know which way, into the Koji, because we have some great idea in Koji, uh, in, in copper, and uh, uh, guys on Koji are working on some other features which will uh, be easier for copper to consummate, like uh, creating time spaces so you can build uh, two and more packages with the same name, Apple version release in, in Koji. Um, and OBS. OBS is very feature rich. Uh, it have a lot of feature, major code, uh, but it used different build scripts uh, for building a uh, script called build, why we use mock, and there are other different. So mm, there was fear that it may produce different resu results uh, than, than Koji or our mock tool. So you will be able to build something in OBS, but not in Koji and vice versa. Uh, uh, which will be against the use case uh, which we want to cooperate to allow rebuilds uh, in some uh, scratch place and then do that in Koji uh, on the first shot without problem. Uh, and changing OBS uh, to run on Fedora and with Fedora tools would require a lot of time again probably one year. So that's, that was uh, too much for us. Uh, and there is no OBS community in, in Fedora. Well, I know about one guy. I don't, so it may happen that one day uh, we will use OBS as well uh, and 
it would be my wish. Uh, but it would require a lot, lot of time. But we are working on that as well. For example, Josef Schibri is working on getting OBS in Fedora. So if somebody is uh, one, somebody want uh, this feature rich environment for building, please join Josef uh, for working on OBS for Fedora. But in the meantime, we will have the copper. So after this decision, uh, I, I polished the prototype, uh, and in December uh, 2013, uh, I started Copper Fedora project, or, or to which is available to everybody, uh, and you can build your packages there. Uh, since the December, uh, I just announced it on Fedora Devil for for Fedora developers because I know there were some glitches. Uh, and it happened to be sure that there were. And you sent me a lot of feedback, and I fixed uh, most of the problems. Right now, I know about just two issues, but minor. Uh, and it works quite perfectly. So I encourage, encourage you to use Copper for your upstream builds, for Fedora uh, rebuilds, uh, for example, it is used by uh, Fedora developers, uh, when um, by Slavic or Petr Pica. When 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 you have to do a uh, rebuild in Fedora, for example, the Perl, which is done quite often, uh, and you have to rebuild the whole stack. You couldn't do that until it is agreed by Fesco, uh, and after it is agreed by Fesco, you have very short period to do that. Uh, like two weeks and you start rebuilding and then finding problems. Uh, and that time is quite short. So you can utilize copper to do these uh, master rebuilds and do the master rebuilds in copper first, uh, fix the problems and find all the problems. And then after you get agreement from FESCO to do the master rebuilds, you know that you have all the problems fixed, and you can uh, start up the rebels in Koji, and it's done very quickly. Design. The design is that it consists of two parts. One is front end and back end. Front end is just presentation layer together with DB. Uh, it offers you web interface uh, and API, which is used by command line client uh, or your scripts. And front end doesn't know anything about back end. Uh, back end periodically fetch the task from the query the front end and fetch the task from the front end, spin up virtual machine for that task, uh, SSH there run a mock there, grab the result from mock, or mock chain specifically, uh, still via SSH, and terminate that builder. So, um, and the results are kept on the backend. So if you do something uh, evil on that builder, it will not persist, uh, and it will be uh, ceased uh, after, uh, after first build and next build have really clean environment. So I think you are bored right now, so I will show you uh, how the copper really works. At least I will try, because I will have to use the other screen. Uh, where is my mouse? Okay, so I will start here. So copperfedoraproject.org. This is what you get when you open the page. And uh, you can log in there. Uh, everybody who has FAST account has account here. So who has FAST account? Everybody. <laughs> everybody but those who are asleep or whatever. Okay. And you have this environment. You will have it 
uh, clean, so you just click uh, add new project, and you will just name it somehow dev conf test demo. Dev conf demo. Uh, some description, just demo for dev conf. Uh, Instruction. Uh, pardon? Dev con. Okay. And the uh, I really don't care, but yeah, I will make you happy. Uh, this should be just description for the user, so they know uh, what about is this project because. There is a lot of crap on the uh, on the copper. Uh, just just uh, scratch builds for some developer. So you, please be just kind and just write there something like, "Don't touch it. This is mine. Uh, just just for me." Uh, or if it is a project which should be used, write it some something to point to your project wiki, or write here installation instruction uh, that. You should not use it. That is buggy, or if that's uh, production ready, or something like that. Uh, and then you select uh, the crude for which you will be building. Uh, I will choose just Fedora 19. Uh, or I, I can choose both. Uh, and this is field which I will mention later. Let's skip it for now. So you have uh, your projects already. Uh, and now you can submit some, some build. You submit build with uh, URL of, of the source RPM. Uh, I will say for example my scratch builds of copper fulfilling oh what have you done? Okay. And hit the build button. And it's pending. After a few moments, it will be picked up. And let's say in a few minutes, uh, it will be built. The copper package is quite big. Uh, but if I take some, uh, for example, these one packages, you can see here history uh, of the builds. Red one are the failed ones. Uh, and the uh, green one are fine, that they look okay. And you, here you will have result. Uh, you can find the, the build log and build, build log for each, each package with your root log and, and build log. That's uh, similar as, as is on Koji. Uh, it's basically output of mock and uh, taken as it is, so no changes there. And once you have at least one uh, package build, uh, these uh, repo files are activated and have content which you can just grab and uh, put into your ATC YAML repository. The additional packages, additional repo, I will mention probably. How the builds are not yet. Okay. There is some queue probably. You, ca you can have permissions here. No permissions yet, but uh, because it's my project, 
Uh, but if you click on some project, some other, let's say. I will choose random project. I can request permission there, and I can collaborate on that project if that user uh, allow that permission. Uh, and the edit. Uh, the additional repos is uh, base URL of uh, some repository, not address of repo file, but the base URL which is passed, which is written in the repo file. And it's used if you, for example, um, have some project which require, which builds for uh, RHEL 5, but needs Apple repository or other repository, for example, from Copper. You have all the packages from your project in, in BuildRoot available, but if you need some other uh, repository, you need to specify it here. Oh. Okay, go back to. Okay, now usually I get the, uh, when I show this to somebody, I usually get the question, okay, this sounds great. Can I have a new feature there? Can I build directly from Git? Uh, can it create ISO image? Can it create Docker image? Can it do something else? Well, my answer is usually quite uniform, uh, no. Uh, because I'm only one developer, but well, maybe if you send me the patches, uh, uh, I will take it and get into the copper if it doesn't mean that it's more maintenance work. Or you can focus your work on OBS and uh, help us to get OBS in Fedora. Uh, and, and OBS has already uh, most of the feature which uh, other people usually request. So it's other option. What I want to focus in sh uh, next month uh, is to somehow enable, uh, enable easy addition of copper repository into your Fedora or L. And just during this week, I, I write uh, basic foundation for DNF plugin, which will allow you to write DNF, copper, <laughs> enable, a name of the repository, which will write you nice warning that, oh, okay, this is a third party repository, which is not uh, part of Fedora itself. Please don't file bugzillas about that, uh, and you are on your own. Are you sure to proceed? Yes. And it will download the repo file and put it into your at all. ATC, ATC YAM repository. Uh, other idea, idea I got from Igor just a few hours ago is DNF copper start and for some, some strings which will uh, behave same way as YAM, YAM start or DNF start, but in copper repository. Uh, other uh, task which I would like to focus is to, to infrastructure right, right now. We, we really quite early, release early, release often. Uh, and we miss some, some features, uh, uh, some, some basic features like having HTTPS, uh, which doesn't happen to be not so trivial as I expected. Uh, and we have only eight builders and nearly one terabyte of storage, which if you compare it to OBS, which had presentation yesterday and they have uh, like 400 builders then, uh, more than four, uh, 30 terabytes of space. Um, we are quite behind. Uh, I want to work on becoming uh, regular uh, Fedora services because we, we are right now running in a somehow something like beta or something like that because uh, we doesn't met all the requirements to become a Fedora infrastructure service. So I'm working on that. 
And I want to focus on underlying uh, tools like create repo, mock, mock chain. And I already uh, find there are uh, some bugs which I uh, fixed and provided patches and sent uh, uh, to the uh, maintainer. Uh, and this tool works quite, quite good, but uh, when I deploy them in a copper where we uh, do massive building, um, some, some, some glitches pop up. Uh, and there are or still some. And I want to focus on new related projects. Uh, for example, we are missing uh, tools which will sort you packages by build request. If you have to rebuild uh, 100 of packages, uh, you have the option either to uh, try it at once, which will probably fail, and you can just repeat it uh, in some finite time uh, and hope that it will work. Uh, or you can just manually sort it by build requests, but we don't have some automation tool. Uh, we have some uh, some tools which do that for some people, but not uh, anything anything stable and robust. Uh, and the same apply yesterday. I got the question. Uh, yeah, if well, Copper can build it from from Git, no. Uh, uh, but if you want to create tool which create the source RPM uh, and uh, and provide it to, to to copper, yes, that that's a good idea. But in my opinion, it should be a different tool, not directly in in copper. But by the way, we have some such tool. It's called Tito, and uh, copper is use uh, itself and other project as well. Stable where it originate. Uh, and you can uh, write as, as easy as Tito uh, release uh, and the name of the uh, Copper project and it will create source RPM and uh, send it to Copper for use. Uh, software collection. Okay. I will... Uh, how many of you are, are interested in software collection? Okay, a lot of people. So uh, one of the reasons why we uh, create Copper is uh, to have place where we can build software collections. Uh, and as you know, software collections need some modification uh, on build service because it uh, you have to have some packages in build root before you start building. So how do you do that in Copper? It's quite easy. Uh, where's my mouse? Ah, oh, here. So you just hit the edit button. And for each root, you have the option to edit that, that root. And you unfortunately have to do it for each route. Uh, and here you put a uh, space separated list of packages which you want to have present in build route before the build starts. So I will put there SCL utils build and Ruby 193 uh, dash build. And mock chain will try to put these packages into build root, build root. It will not fail if those packages doesn't exist yet. So you can put it there even right now and only then build the uh, software collection meta package. And after it will become available, then those packages will be fetched into the build root. So that's all and now you can safely start building. Uh, software collection in, in, in Copper. So that's probably everything I wanted to show you. So please provide me provide me uh, feedback on this URL.
And now I'm uh, open to your question. I'm sure you have one. As I looked at your, uh, you, you are currently limiting uh, yourself to x86 packages, uh, architectures. Uh, I think that one of uh, things to do is should be some kind of uh, integration with existing Fedora builders. Because, for example, I, w I uh, would like to build some packages for ARM v7. Because I don't care about x86. I, my work is ARM v7 and ARM v8. And I was thinking that copper will be a way for me to build some ARM packages as well. And looks like for now I will just have to build it on my own and just store them s somewhere. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't integrate with copper packages, uh, with, with uh, Koji builders, because as I said, it would require a lot of modification, it would mean, mean a lot of time. Uh, but yes, regarding architectures, we are planning to provide a building for ARM. Uh, I will just talk uh, in the upcoming week with Dennis Gilmore, uh, and we have some, some uh, machines in Fedora infrastructure which will be free in, in short time, so we'll move them to copper. Uh, and uh, Dan Hora uh, promised me uh, that we will have uh, Power PC uh, machines in some short time, uh, probably in half years. You said, oh, may maybe shorter. I don't know. So yeah, other architectures are coming. It will take some time. Um, where do you get feedback? Because I don't see that. And. The real question is, um, are you planning to provide uh, Fedora hosted project pages for Copper? I would like to have some of my project build in Copper to have a kind of preview build that is kind of sort of official for the project, but predates getting into Fedora maybe because I'm testing some features that people want to see but are not ready for Fedora. So instead of having my own page with all my crap builds mixed with the Project builds have the project builds there. So uh, you wanted to sound some, some wiki or no a, a, cop, a copper account for the project rather than my own account you doing those builds. Oh. Like in Fedora Hosta, you have the project pages. It would be really nice to have a copper tag where you can find the project copper builds. Uh huh. I didn't think about something like that. Well, you, you can you can uh, give the permissions to other team members, or uh, talk to Fesco Fedora board. I don't know if we can share, have the shared uh, uh, logins, and I'm sure we have some. Uh, so, and so it's probably possible. Uh, Well, we use the fast account uh, because it was uh, the easiest. It, uh, Fedora inf hosted id.fedoraproject.org already uh, do the all uh, approving if it's correct user, if you have permission. So we just incorporated uh, open ID. So. So probably feature request to to in, to first account for to provide other ex accounts for the project. No, no, 
Ya, oh. I can check if Dell's information can be retrieved. And if not, ask, ask uh, ID Fedora project if those information can be provided. Yeah, that, that's possible. Other question? Uh, the question was uh, if we can, if you can build non-free packages there. Uh, well, currently you have to agree uh, that your package uh, have one of those licenses listed in Fedora, uh, Fedora licensing wiki, the good licenses. I talked to uh, Federal Legal, namely to Spot, uh, because there are licenses in bad section uh, which are not uh, suitable for Fedora, but can be suitable for Copper. Uh, the example uh, is Fedora uh, Zim uh, Zimbra license, which doesn't allow you to modify the software, but you can rebuild it Distribute source, distribute binaries, that's fine. So that's example for, for copper. And uh, the answer was that uh, Federal Legal will have to go through the list again and f uh, check which packages uh, from the bad ones uh, are good one for Fedora, for copper, and it would, it would be a lot of work and they don't want to do that work. So uh, for right now they say uh, just just the, the good licenses and if ever somebody will come and request the other license which is not permitted right now, uh, then we will try to address it. But if nobody will ask, uh, it will stay th this way. So. Yeah, it can be, it will be definitely easier. So if you want other license which is not specified there, uh, ask please, ask Federal Legal. You know? So uh, what I've been thinking and what we discussed with uh, Russian Fedora guys, that uh, there will be probably soon a copper instant on Russian Fedora infrastructure. And if people from RPM Fusion are willing to have it on their domain, we would have copper RPM fusion, so you can build basically yeah. whatever you want, and it will be in Russia, and in Russia you can, you know, yeah. build software. <laughs> Long way to some, some in, in Russian Federal, they have repositories with software which is not permitted for redistribution, and no one cares. Yeah, of course. We, we primarily provide a, uh, Copper as service, uh, but it's open source and we provide the sources and even the how to, how you can set up your own uh, private instances. So if some uh, the Russian friend will set up their own instances, then they have set their own rules. So, uh, because we are right now uh, limited to uh, Fedora project, Fedora uh, as legal instance, uh, which comes back to Red Hat. So we couldn't distribute everything what we want. Uh, so we are running out of time, but there was one last question. Not everything, but most of. Yeah, uh, d you can run yum install copper-cli, uh, and you can submit build, check the current status, uh, what, what else, I, I'm not sure, just man copper CLI, and it have most of the web UI stuff, not everything, but we are working on it, and we are welcome uh, if you send some patches. It's, it's quite easy, just, uh, just the API call. So thank you, and if If you want to know uh, 